guys, welcome back to my channel, IV Choo Choo Train. We are now in Naha, the capital city of Okinawa. Okinawa is uh, a group of tropical islands uh, southern of mainland Japan and it is a very, very popular vacation spot for both tourists and locals alike. So today, I want to show you a few of my favorite spots or a um, personal list of the must-sees and must-dos in my opinion and I hope you guys will like it! department store so there's this uh, Hawaiian village and there's like another depot department store and then the main department store where you get the first meal but if this is not your style this is not your cup of tea I have just the right place for you called Ashibina Outlet which is a 40 minute drive from this place um, it's tax-free shopping paradise and we are going to head there next so if you're tired of burgers and steaks and you want some Japanese sushi this place right across from American Village, so American Village, American Village is right here. This place across from American Village is pretty good too. It's got some really cheap and fresh sushi, so if you want some sushi, then this is the place to come. So we are now at Ashibina Outlet. It is north of Naha, I think, and um, it's not the biggest outlet ever, but it's got um, everything a girl would like uh, like coach Gucci stuff like that and it's got like guy stuff too you, you got Under Armour, you got Vans, Adidas, Nike and stuff um, if you're a foreigner of course you get tax-free service but you have to buy above 500 uh, above 5,400 yen and then you get like uh, tax-free stuff I'm not sure if it's because of uh, the timing like last time I came here was also during a national holiday and also this time so uh, you see like these big sales going on like 50% off and another 30 or 40% off so you got these like crazy sales going on I'm not sure if it's just because of like this national holiday or if uh, this outlet is always like this but you get like crazy cheap prices so you definitely want to check it out oh my god look at these cute bags though these are like 50% off and another 30% so from $600 to $300 and I get another discount. The best thing about Ashibina Outlet though is that it is a 10 minute drive away from this place called Senaga Island. So I accidentally found this place last time because uh, when I was trying to drive to the outlet, I made a wrong turn and ended up at this beautiful, beautiful place. It is um, not far away from the airport and uh, along the beach side, along the shoreline, there's like this row of restaurants and it's designed after like this Greek town, I think. It's modeled after this Greek town, so all the buildings are white and you got um, all kinds of petite, um, cute cafes, boutique restaurants and and there's this really famous taco rice place here that you gotta try out. If you're looking for the perfect spot for a great photo shoot, then you definitely have to come to Senaga Island because it is beautiful. This is also a famous spot for watching the sunset. So I guess it's kind of like Santorini, I guess. So you can also find a lot of um, outdoor tourist restaurants here. So find one of these and sit here uh, for like an hour or two away for the beautiful sunset. You won't regret it. There are four floors or floor levels on this terrace so after you finish eating on the first, second or third floor definitely climb up to the top level to enjoy this majestic ocean view. without going to Koksai Dori, which literally translates into international streets. So on this street, you'll see everything from um, original t-shirt shops to restaurants, steakhouses, 
ice cream shops, of course. It's everything that you would want to buy or eat, you can find it on Koksai Dori. This street is open from 10 or 11 a.m. till very late at night because they've also got a lot of uh, bars here. One bar that I've always wanted to go to is called the Rehab International Bar. But unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to go there this time. So if you come here, please go to Rehab International Bar for me and tell me how it is. Or if you've been there before, comment down below and let me know what it's like. So when you come to Koksai Doli, you got a lot of options for food. You got um, steakhouses, you got barbecue restaurants, you got sweet shops, you got ice cream shops. However, last time I came here, I accidentally found, also by accident, um, because I got lost, but I accidentally found this place called Yatai Mura. So Yatai are these um, portable food trucks. They're usually food trucks, and they're like uh, they come out at night and they um, they go back like early morning. At this Yatai Mura, you have a variety of choices, and the best part is it is not that expensive. So for two people, uh, yakitori skewered chicken, um, it was around 4,000 to 5,000 yen, which is not bad at all. So I think that this can also be a good choice for you if you want some dinner at Koksai Dori. Hello, Elizabeth. <laughs> and that is a wrap for today. I hope you guys liked my um, own personal list of spots and restaurants that I think you should definitely check out when you come to Okinawa. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you go. See you guys in the next video.